Well, I'd like to call the meeting to order. It's seven o'clock, April 2nd, 2024. And this is the Green Efforts Committee regular meeting. So first up, there's public comment and I don't see anyone signed in. I think we're all set there. Okay. All right. We need to wait a few more minutes. Uh, or do we want to? We can get started. Um, okay. On talk about cleanup. Stacy, okay. do you have any? Oh, maybe we'll wait a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, be before we get into the cleanup, just as a uh, uh, observation, when are we going to uh, go back to regular meetings and not have Zoom meetings? Uh, it's up to the chair and the committee whether they want to go back to in person. Um, I would love to go back to in person, to be honest with you. Um, well, and you could still give people the opportunity to join by yeah, Zoom. Yes, so all, all the meetings are high, would be hybrid. There's the one Zoom. Um, it just would, it, I think. As far as I'm aware, the meeting rooms open on on our our meeting nights, the uh, um, council chambers, and we would just sit at the, uh, um, well, as you know, Amy, with Unionville, we just sit at the table um, and yeah. use the conference call phone, um, and then also I can still set up Zoom. It's 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 whatever everyone's preference is really. It, it doesn't matter for me. Um, I would love to go to in person meetings just because I've never met most of you. Exactly. Amen. <laughs> well, when we get down to other on the agenda, maybe we can, you know, have time to think about that. And when we get down to other, maybe we can, you know, um, decide then whether we want to go back to hybrid. I think it's a great idea. Um, I don't know a lot of you either. So it would be nice to get to know you better. Right. All right. So, Stacy, you want to start us off with cleanup? Oh, who's that now? <laughs> okay, good. Um, I started putting up the signs around town. Hopefully people have seen them. Um, I probably have like 20 left at my house. If anyone has any spot that they feel like could use one. I would like wants one. one. Yeah, I think Great. at the store. At okay. Jewelers. Um, and if you have a big one that we could put up on our fence, I, I have no problem with that as well. Um, <laughs> Sorry. I don't, we used to have like really, they were in rough shape, Garrett, but like metal, really like we've, maybe used to be real estate signs from the 80s. Are they still? I think we've got one left. I think all of the others. And I, I don't, I don't, I'm, I I don't think I got rid of any of the frames. I know um, just because trying to reduce how much space we were taking up in, in the garage, I took all the signs apart. Um, let me check if I've, I don't know if I've got a big sign, but I it, let me check um, when I get in the office. And if, if I do, I can just drop it off at, at, uh, at uh, the jewelry store on my way home or or. Like you um, would get tetanus from those. They're really rusty. <laughs> I got. I had to get my shot within the last few years. So I think I'm good. <laughs> um, Bree, can we put one in your in your? Like, yeah, you. I live on the corner of Main Street yeah. and Meadow Road, so feel free. I was going to on Sunday morning, then I was like, ah, I should just ask. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> no, that's nice of you because some people don't. But it's, I, I, I'm happy to have a sign there. Great. I'm St Stacy. Uh huh. So. So I live right on Main Street in Unionville, right across from St. Mary's Church. It's a very good place to have a sign. Yeah. And if you'd rather have me pick it up, I can just send me your address. Otherwise, if you are out putting up signs, you can put it on my house. And yeah, sure. I'm going to put the... All right. I'm putting my address in the chat. And then I can... There are a bunch outside my house right now, too. So... Okay. Um, yeah. So, so just my information. Where do you live? So I'm at 32 High Street, and 
my house has a surf like tiny itty bitty little number but it has a circular driveway it's super tall and like it doesn't face the right direction you're like why is it not not the front of the house that is weird <laughs> so, yes yeah you go find it <laughs> yeah um i haven't finished with like the yukon part of town but um I, I'm new to the committee, but, um, you know, um, I live in a community called Tanbar, which is right off um, 177 between um, Wisteria Lane, you know, past Wisteria Lane. Um, so I'm happy to take one, but I am actually leaving for a, the spring break. We have a wedding in Chicago. So I don't know uh, how big these stakes are. I'm sure this all came up in the last discussion, which um, I was not, um, uh, I, I did not get the invite at that time. So I'm not sure how big these uh, posters or- They're just like the election signs that okay. go up with the, yeah, they're, just, they're pretty small. Okay. Uh, so I don't know if this would be a right place for you to put. So if you want, I can take one. Sure, great. As long as your neighborhood doesn't have any covenants or rules against signs, that's uh, uh, it's a new community. So let me check with that uh, with them, okay. and they, I'll get back to you. Okay. Great. <clears throat> Korea, did you um, want to introduce yourself to the group? I don't oh, know sure. if everybody knows you. Oh, sure, sure. Hi, everybody. Um, I have a very long name. Uh, my first name is long and so is my last name. So my first name is Jaya Priya and my last name is Krishna Swami. So you can just call me Priya. It makes it easy. Um, Priya is in, there's a bar called Priya Bar. I don't know if you've heard about that energy bar called Priya, but it's P Priya, P-R-I-Y-A. Um, I'm a physician. Uh, right now, I'm on a sabbatical. I took a, a boat in lifestyle medicine. I've lived in Farmington for now. <laughs> I was just thinking today, um, it's going to be about 20 years next year. So, uh, yes, and um, we've, we've, uh, we've owned two houses. We just put the old house in the market recently. So, um, my daughter goes to um, middle school. I have one daughter and... Uh, we moved from a community called Southwest Village, which was right across uh, Mama Luke's. And now we are in Tanbar, which is a new new and upcoming community, you know, so it just has one vacant spot. So, yeah, so uh, 20 long years in uh, Farmington now. Um, Good. Good. Well, we're happy to have you, Priya. Thank you, Amy. I'm so happy to be here. Okay. Sorry about that little side bar, but um, okay. What else do you need, Stacy? Um, so the sign up genius is up. Um, I guess I should probably send a link to everybody, and then if you could just let all your friends and all your people know, that would be great. Um, I haven't, I haven't finished the poster yet because I sort of wanted to talk about what we act like. The poster is a little bit of a like a holdover from the old days when we actually like printed it and put it up places. But um, what do we actually do with the post? Like I'm so, like I'm always like so careful about making sure it's in the on the right page and it fits. And I'm like, why why am I working so hard to get this on an eight and a half by eleven when it, we don't print it? Um, it depends. So we, we can, I can print some off at, at town hall. Um, I'm out next week. So before, you know, tomorrow evening, um, that I can print them Thursday morning. Um, the, they can get distributed to businesses. Um, if people want to do that, um, it gets posted to the town website, uh, get posted probably on the front page. Um, and then it will, uh, we'll, I'll work with um, the Explore Farmington page to get it posted there. Um, uh, so that, I mean, it, it's it's more of just kind of, so it's a unified post, I guess we could say, okay. you know, and I think the, the point generally has been that it, it's posted somewhere and it shows who's sponsoring the heaviest haul um, 
and, and kind of things like that. Is yeah, that I was just wondering the, if there was a better way to get that information out there. Like, is it just, like, if we don't print the poster, then is there a better way to thank our sponsors or? Um, could do it through an Explore Farmington post. I know, I don't know what, you know, what service you use for, for um, designing the poster. I think if you use Canva, I think it has social media posts. I use Word. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm 50. Never mind. <laughs> okay, there's a there's a, a site called Canva that's good that's good for making flyers. It's, it's got like everything built in, and and you can do like a page. You can do they've got like social media post sizes. So you you know I forget what the ratio is for social media, um, and it changes every few years anyway. So um, so there's that. So it it, it doesn't really matter. Um, I is mean, if Canva you want to, yes. Okay. Um, I'll send it to you. I told, um, I made an announcement on town council last night that information was going to be put out on the town's website under mm -hmm. the green efforts tab. Yep. Can you put it there? And can you also make sure that the link is there? Yes. Yeah, so it usually gets posted to the town, uh, um, to the green efforts page um, as like, as like it's home and then it, it'll get shared elsewhere. Um Actually, we still had the old one up, and the people, so people were emailing us saying, "Hey, why does it still say 2023 when it's 2024?" <laughs> yeah, um, so a I, lot of emails too. Yeah. So. <laughs> so just um, trying to, you know, let, it's it's that because so if people have done it, they know where it is. Um, but then the social media post helps get out the information, um, you know, gets it out and dispersed it to the public, and especially. You know, posting it on the front page of the town website. Um, I can check and see if we can do. I think I don't know if Everbridge if we can use that for that, which is kind of like the not obviously not the the um, like the road closing notice things like that. But there's there's Everbridge, which is what the town uses to disperse agendas and stuff that we can put, probably put something through there. Um, uh, Stacy, mm -hmm. uh, the word page that you have. Can you send it to all of us? And is it oh, I didn't do it yet because I wanted oh. to talk about whether uh, it was a useful tool. And this Canva thing sounds much better. <laughs> do we have anything that's like a handout that we that I could use to uh, send to people? That's what we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't have one yet? No. So what are we looking at for a timeline on this stuff? Because today's April, April 2nd. Yeah. And, um, so, uh, and Garrett, you're going on vacation. So Yeah, I'll, I'll be out Friday and all of next week. So if is worst something? case is just not printed at Town Hall. I mean, I, and I can always um, see if I just can't have, a, have it dropped off. Anymore. I can always check and see if uh, someone in our office can print them. And if someone can pick them up from Town Hall, um, that would work too. I can pick them up from town hall when on Friday, you're saying? It depends on when I get it. If, oh, okay. I, yeah, so if, if it gets in this week and I can print them, um, if it uh, if it's, uh, yeah, if I can I print can, them before uh, like six on Thursday. Um, I've got another meeting Thursday. Well, Amy will be at that meeting on Thursday night, but <laughs> Right. Um, well, I, I can, can grab them that yeah, night too. And that works. Bring, yeah, I'll I'd be like out. to bring a bunch to the store, and John, you could pick them up at the store if you want. So if I'm not I, sure. I don't, I don't need to pick anything up. What I need is a electronic copy of it, so I can send it to people. Okay. Um, and, and you know, I have a, the whole slew of people I can send it to to get them moving. Yeah. Now, is the uh, is the town newsletter about to go out? As far as I'm aware, yes. And then we did include it, and uh, there's a QR code to the sign up genius um, as well. Okay. Um, hmm. So it's. Um, yeah, I will try to do it by Friday. Okay. And, and Garrett, you're 
won't be around. Is there somebody who takes your yeah, plate? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can send it. To, if you send it to me, um, it, I can send it to uh, someone in our office and have them print it. Um, that's not a huge deal. It, it, it kind of depends on when I get it and, um, you know, that kind of that, that would really be, it, it's when, okay. you know, if, if, if it's Friday morning, I can, I can sit, ask yeah, yeah. To do it before lunch and, and have it ready in the afternoon. Um, okay. And Garrett, you can keep us all informed by email, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll just do it that way and see how fast we can get the word out and, all these things posted so that people know, because I know Garrett, you've been getting calls. I've been getting emails, um, groups of people looking to figure out how to get this going. So uh, that'll be great. Okay. I'm not a um, graphic designer by any means, but I've used Canva before if time is tight. Um, I have some time uh, tomorrow and Thursday that I could spend an hour or two just. Okay. In whatever capacity, just let me know. I am crushed with meetings tomorrow, so that will be helpful for sure. I I mean, do you have the copy from last year of the poster? Okay, I can send it to you. And um, Bree had sent something for the newsletter that I had to extremely pare down because we were at we we're at a space constraint for the newsletter. Um, that would I think Bree, you can correct me wrong. I think you sent it to me and Stacy and Jennifer. Or was it just me? If it was just me, I can no, send it. You, I think it's Stacy. Oh, all right. But I'm happy to. Do you have it? You can forward it? Or? Yeah, I'll send it over. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I can email it. Send that to, to everyone? Certainly. Yeah. Let me. Um... I think that what Bree had done for the newsletter would be good to for, enough for me to send out to a number of people I have who are looking to find out what's going on. Okay, well, great. The thing that we just saw, was that kind of what you're talking about? Because that's, that's the sign-up genius, and that's live. Okay. Yeah, that's so that's, and that's what I just sent in the that. chat. Yeah. So you sent that to us? Yeah, uh, yeah it, sh it should be in the chat with Zoom, but uh, when I send out the minutes um, tomorrow, I'll include the link to the sign-up genius. All right, that would be great. That And, way and uh, Bree, yeah, let me, do, I'll do, I'll do it all as well. I'll send the sign-up genius. Um Breeze letter. I'll get the, and uh, <laughs> Sorry. I think that was no, no, no. I'm just trying to think of uh, listing everything out. Yeah, because if you're not going to be here till next week, I don't want people trying to get a hold of you or me um, to find out. So I'm, I'm a newcomer. Remember. <laughs> mm. you, you can just talk. You don't have to raise your hand. <laughs> oh me no priya oh priya oh, okay yeah the names are very close i just realized <laughs> i um so again i'm just just this meeting old so i have I, I maybe this is a moot point and maybe this was already talked um but i had a thought or a question uh do you send out this newsletter to about the town cleanup to the Farmington Public Schools, uh, so that you know, it, it's a quick way to disseminate to the entire community. That way, it may, um, you know. Um, I know. Oh, sorry, Priya. Yeah, if you approach different schools that are there, um, middle school, high school, um, elementary school, you you the parents get access to it. You know, so it's a quick. Yeah, way un unfortunately, reach. Martin's not at this meeting tonight. Martin is our person for the um board of ed and right and and it does get included in the newsletter that goes to every household in town as well um it's usually at the at the at the the end um but that but that's i i'd like to think everyone in town reads it but you never know um you don't know how many people actually actually look through it um so that that's one way i think we've discussed in the past ways to get it out to um we get it into the, the friday folders yeah, yeah. the friday folders yeah. we are very avid readers of the friday folders <laughs> of things, you know? so yeah I, i'm always on the watch out for the friday folders so i there's something i thought would so, help right so i'm not sure I don't oh, know the schedule there. of when of when they prepare that, Garrett. But I can I can take I can 
find out tomorrow what their schedule is for putting that together and see if there's time to get it out. Yeah. But yeah. And if, and worst cases, if it's, if it's, they need to get it ASAP, we, I can do something quick um, just so it's in, in there. Um, yeah. It's electronic. So all like, it really needs to be is cleanup day is this day. Yeah. Here's the science genius link. So when you send that out tomorrow, can Sam take it and do what he needs to do with it? Probably. Okay. Thank you, Sam. Appreciate sure. that. That's good. At least the word will start getting out. Perfect. All right. Thank you. So, uh, so one of the things here that I, I've said in the past, and I'll, I'll repeat myself, as we're sending this, this information out, people need to know that it's not just on the 21st that they can pick up stuff, that they can bing, begin picking up stuff immediately uh, and start collecting stuff to bring in on the 21st for Wayne. And I think a lot of people are under the impression that this is a one-day event, and one-day events don't pick up very much trash. I actually saw somebody picking stuff up the other day. It might have been John if it was at a... Well, no, it it was a... I was going to say the same thing! <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the people who have done this before know that. I, I think it's just the newcomers and the the new people who've never done it before, that would be, but is that in the flyer? Is that in that flyer we just looked at briefly? It, um, it was in. No, this is the, a sign up for the day. Yeah, the hold on. It, uh, give me one second. It, certainly in Bree's uh, uh, article for the townwide newsletter. Yeah, I think. Um, but we should add it to that announcement too, if we can, just for even next year. It's a good point, John. Yeah. So in the newsletter, um, I put trash may be collected from April first to April twentieth. Any single item weighing more, and I did the whole twenty five pounds, um, and then trash will be weighed at our official locations. Okay. Great. Perfect. Good. So, but you need to deal with this, like the scales were not awesome last year. Like I, I can't tell you how many times the, the teenagers from FHS called me to tell me that it wasn't working. So um, does anybody have non-digital scales at their house that they want to lend for the day or? I was, uh, I do. I have one. That might oh. be better. I'm trying to see if there's anything that online that we could order i have one can, i'm not sure you can hear me no no i, I, I have like, like a like a like a luggage scale or something like that that, that you oh my god that'd be bag. so much better because like people do not like getting on the scale and then weighing <laughs> themselves and then holding the trash and like trying to do math but don't want to ask for help because they don't want to tell people their weight and it's really just like super awkward so those digital scales don't like um, things that weigh 10 pounds. So Yeah, we... let me, um, I'm just quickly looking at the W. Mason site. I don't see anything um, with that. I don't know if that's the only uh, um, place we have an account with for mm -hmm. the town. Um, if I can find something on Amazon, um, I'll just go ahead and order it and we'll do the, we'll, we'll do a reimbursement in, in May. Um, but I will be yeah, because mindful. Like, we have to buy batteries every year anyway. So it's, if we got a non, um, digital one, like it would pay for itself. I mean, those batteries are not cheap. Sometimes they cost more than the stupid scale. So yeah, I don't the think button, it would be yeah, a, the button but, batteries. Yeah. So when you talk I mean, about the uh, these, these that look scales, good? are you talking about scales that can weigh the trash without a person? That yeah, so awesome. it's like it's like this. So you hold it in your hand, you hang the bag on here, and then it gives you the weight. Okay. So I don't have to lie about my weight anymore. Exactly. 
No more math. Oh my gosh, it's only eight dollars. That's the cost of the batteries. And this. Yeah, let me let me see if I can get this. Um, if I can get them ordered. How um, many do we need? Is there only one person weighing stuff? No, or so it's four different four sites, sites. So we usually have four. If okay. they're eight dollars, I can get two, and that you know, most of the time it it's not that busy. Um, there's like it'll it'll peak. Um, but if I mean, if they're only eight dollars, I can get two for each site. That's not a if if they if they don't use batteries, they they'll pay for themselves after a year yeah. apparently. So I'll pay for them to not get those panic calls from the people. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll work. I'll work to. Uh... I can't help you with the scale of there. Gonna... <laughs> One question on that is: Where are you going to have them sent if you're going to be away for a week? No, they'll just come to town hall. So oh okay um, yeah. So everything okay. it'll come to town hall. Um, all this, so we'll get, I want to talk about that, uh, near the end, just cause, so we can go over some logistics, okay. um, since everything's not at Kate's house anymore. <laughs> um, so, uh, really quick with the sign up, um, just remember there's two, two slots, two people for two hour slots for each location. We've got four locations, um, cleanup starts at eight to one, um, and then, looking for hosts to show up around 7 30 um set out the the table there there's we're probably running low on t-shirts at this point um okay nobody the, wants them we're not like uh, uh the kids <laughs> want them so maybe we just buy oh. kid size t-shirts they seem to er, er, the times i've done it the kids are like oh yeah i'll take a shirt <laughs> um but if we do uh um so if some so one or two people showing up um setting up the table there's usually uh i think we still have pamphlets and everything in there um bags grabbers um i don't remember if we've got a sign up sheet pre-made i have to check on that um and if not i can just make one up really quick we do usually do like a sign in sheet for um the group the weight of the trash and then a separate one for if you've got a grabber um just so we make sure we get those back um and then uh we will have whoever at the, there at the end just pack everything up um depending on the timing um you can just leave the tub at the location um and i and or another person will will collect them um and we can meet it back at town hall um to put it back in store everything back in storage um yeah so, so we really need committee members to be table hosts and not cleaning up people I just signed up, but do people still bring coffee and that kind of thing? We we don't provide coffee or anything. We're trying not to create waste. So we're just relying on people to bring their own coffee and their own coffee cups right. and okay. not right. have be handing out co like things that create trash. So just trying right. to like right. pare it down <laughs> to not have make waste. <laughs> Where did you, where's the sign up for that? It's on the same page. So you see it's right table host. Here. And there's, okay. yeah, sorry. I, you can see my, yeah. Table host, zero slots filled. And then we've got clean up here. Um, okay. And sign up genius is like still from 1994. So it has to put everything in time order. I, I mean, maybe there's a sign up genius, genius, but like I wanted the cleanup to not be in the middle of the table hosts, but just gonna rely on people to figure it out. <laughs> I think we, I think people figure out we can we can yeah. and you don't have out. to sign up. You just really need to sign up if you're like passionate about cleaning one certain area and you don't want anyone else to clean it on you. So um we won't assign it. Uh, yeah and uh speaking of which um if everyone's thinking about locations in town I know we've got so we've got maps that'll be available at all four locations um, under nice plexiglass. Um, and we highlighted, I think it's the primary air concerns, which are usually the state roads. Um, but, the, the, you know, we can always direct people there. Um, the other thing is if you're a table host, just keep in mind the area of town you're in. Um, so when you're sending people, be like, oh, I already sent someone here. I'll send it over here. Well, you might have, if, depending on the location, um, 
We don't separate want. the list by um, there. You go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the yeah the, the the we call it our dirty list for those aren't that aren't familiar. Um, it's a list of, of places that Stacy will separate by location, and then we just got a general map. So once once the dirty list is all signed out, again, it depends on the location in town. Um, then you can just kind of point to areas. I mean, the state highways are always seem to be the worst, um, but they're also the the least safe usually. Um, <clears throat> but you know. And sometimes it helps to to keep in mind where where you can tell people to park. You know, they'll park on this side street, um, and you can pr pretty much tell by the from the maps. You know, you can park on this side street, and and you can access the state route here. Um, things like that. Um, so we make a part of the heaviest haul contest be the number the who gets the most number of nips nip bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but those are recyclable we, now, so everybody's going to be wanting those. Right? They're, they're not recyclable. recyclable. They're not. No, you, no, you just pay a deposit for you some pay reason. Deposit, but you don't get recycled. Uh, and then the town, the our town bought a street sweeper with the money that we get from those uh, <laughs> deposits. Yeah, yeah. But they're not yes. recyclable because there's no technology for it. I think they just call it a deposit because that's what people understand. But it's really it's a it's an extra five cent fee that goes to the municipality. That the that was sold in. Okay. Oh, and, and the, oh. the street sweeper. I know where there's a lot of those. <laughs> you can win. <laughs> street sweepers are not going to pick up very many bottles or nippers because all the nippers are on the grass. Yeah. The yeah. It's just what Farmington decided to spend the money on. They yeah. can spend it on anything environmental. So that's yeah. what we, this committee was not consulted on what we thought the town should spend the nip money on. So if I could move back to uh, the hosts at the different tables, uh, do we have a list of the people who have volunteered in the past so that we, we can reach out and see if they want to volunteer again? Um, Would it be in previous? I know Stacy is the one that's been doing it for the last couple of years. So yeah, I, was... I mean, there was, a, there was the year that I tried to get all the high school students to do it, which was... <laughs> I can do a table host. Great. <laughs> uh, has anybody reached out to Miss Porters? Because they've been they do they clean up, right? For sure. Yeah. Right. Okay. But maybe they should get a copy of this poster. Or I have my letter up, Garrett. If you need that. Um. No, I've got I've got that same in the email. Um. Okay. I can That's a good double idea. check. We've got a few contacts with Ms. Porters. Um, the Unionville, uh, I'm sorry, Unionville. Tuxis Hose Fire Chief, uh, Rich Higley, he's the facilities director for Ms. Porters. So we reach out to him, obviously, um, to use the, the uh, firehouse. Um, and then we've got, uh, I don't know what her position is, but there's someone that comes in a lot with their historic district applications um, that we can reach out to. Um, and send that to them uh just to make sure they're aware i think i think they know because i think they keep an eye out but if not i'll i'll uh, i'll reach out to them right um i think my next stuff so in terms of logistics what would work best for everyone um, so obviously all the, uh, supplies are currently stored at town hall in the garage, um, which only staff can access because the keypad doesn't work very well. Um, but so everything's there. So I can, I can do a few things. Um, either I can drop everything off in the morning. Um, I can, if someone wants to claim, if I get one person for each, spot and they're and they're going to be there in the morning i can drop it off at your house on friday afternoon um or i can see i mean the the easy ones would be the the firehouses i could probably leave it right inside the the door frame at the firehouses um tungsta smead and iar are the only ones that don't really have um but we'll call it a secure spot to put it um that's not out in the open i know tungsta smead uses the uh pavilion but uh, IRR is just kind of in the parking lot. Um, 
So All right, I'm going to sign up for Tote's hose. So <laughs> if you, you know, I can take them for there. Yeah, it, it's just it's a it's a it's those big black tubs. Um, it might be a, I'll though it might be a little heavy. Um, but I can t you know I can separate some stuff out that you can like ba the bags are the heaviest part. It um, but if I take out if we replace the scales, those make it a little lighter because those a lot of those scales are like the glass weight scales. Um, they can get a little little heavy, but that should help a little bit. Um, so if just let, if you sign up for a start shift, um, just let everyone just let me know. Um, just send me an email, um, preferably with your address. It makes it a little easier. <laughs> Are you gonna? Uh, oh, sorry. Are you gonna drop them off at our house or at the fire station? I just signed up for Main Street Firehouse. It, so, if you want me to drop it off your house, I can drop it off your house. If if okay. no one if no one claims it, um, I, I I I mean. Amy volunteered for Tunxis and you volunteered for the firehouse, which are the easy <laughs> um, yeah. to, to, to just drop it off at the firehouse. Um, but that's not a, not a huge deal. And we can, I can, we can figure it out um, the week of um, I'll send out a reminder um, when I'm back in the office, just to, to say, just to everyone saying, you know, uh, is there anyone I can drop off? If not, worst cases, I can just plan on coming into town uh, early that morning. Um, so when we sign up, when we sign up, why don't we email all of us, you know, so that we all know yep, that's going to yeah. be at what location. That might be better if, if we send an email with everybody attached to it. It's a good way to keep everybody informed so we're all on the same page. Is that okay with everyone? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so I asked a question before, and I, I, I'm a little bit unclear on the answer. Do we have a list of people who have uh, sat at the different locations in the past years? Right. So the answer is is yes. If I look in the old sign up geniuses, but part of the answer is a lot of them are high school students who have graduated and moved on. But so I've always dealt with tungsten hose. I've I've sat there myself as well as other people. I've never had sat with a high school student. So yeah, they were at, they were at Tungsus and IAR. Yes. So it was like uh, uh, Johnny Carrier, for example, was one of the people who sat at Tungsten's Hose. But, and people like that who already kind of know what's going on, if we could get some of those to volunteer again this year, it would really help in terms of avoiding the confusion of what to do. <laughs> that's, that's really good. John, are you going to sit with me at Tungsten's Hose? Some of the time, but a lot of the time at Tungsten's Hose, I'm bringing bags of trash over. Yeah. So it, it occupies all my time, bringing all the trash. Okay. Uh, and, and you can and, battle it out with Johnny Carrier, too. He's I, like, and, all right. And sometimes it's it's good to have either um, Green Efforts Committee members or other town committee slash council members at the locations. I know in the like, obviously, Johnny was the chair last year. Um, but I think he's open to to help it out again this year. I can reach out to him. Um, I can send I know, something out to I can send something yeah. out to the whole town council. Yeah, that yeah. I know in the past, um, it, it, not in the past last year, uh, I, it was I was with uh, Joe Capitafera at IAR. Um, yeah. He was volunteering as well, so I worked with him last year, um, and I know he's looking to volunteer again this year. So it's it's I know the town council likes to do it. Um, obviously, the the Green Efforts Committee. Um, and I can send it out to our committees as well to see if there's a commission as well to see if there's anyone interested. Um, and there is a Republicans, Democrat, um, heaviest hall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I talk to Johnny all the time. In fact, I was just asking him today if he was going to have a team with his kids. So nice. Can he ask a very basic question? Again, this me just of very, very. Um, uh, very um, kindergarten type of question, but we are having this discussion about uh, being the table host, isn't it? Mm -hmm. At different locations. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
And I'm happy to meet with somebody one of the evenings of that week and just be like, this is what's in the box and this is what you do with the box. And these are things that have been in the box for 20 years, but we just don't seem to throw them away. But they're flyers for the watershed. So fine, give them out if you want. And these are the weirdo shirts that Garrett says everyone wants. But <laughs> I think I almost ran out at IR last year, so I don't know. Well, you know, that's that's a really good <laughs> idea. Seeing that we've already talked about going hybrid, can we have a meeting at the town? Can you find a date um, that town council's chambers is open that we could meet right before, maybe the week before, uh, just to make sure we're all on the same page? Let me check. I don't think I have access to... Well, you, you don't have... I yeah, don't have no, no, no. I, no, just if I could give a couple dates really quickly. I don't have access to the um, the uh, council chamber's calendar, but I know others in my in our office do. Um, yeah, but, it, but we could definitely do a special right. meeting at Town Hall. Um, and it does, it's a special meeting, so it can, if it's easier for people to be there at 6, it's easier to be there at 7.30, um, whatever works best. I know uh, Monday is, is um, the town meeting. Uh, and Tuesday is zoning board of appeals, which I'll so I'll be busy with that. But but Wednesday, Thursday are most likely fine. I'm talking. I know about Patty would always say like, if there's a quorum, then there has to be public notice and blah 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 blah. Yeah, so but that know. that is just public notice is 48 hours. Okay. Good. Yeah, it it doesn't have to be anything crazy, and it's really um. So if it, if it's, oh, I'll just, I can. Oh, sorry, Amy. Go ahead. We can't just do it us. Uh, no, because technically any meeting is a public meeting, yeah. but it can be, it, it's a special meeting. Um, okay. The only thing is we can only talk about what's on the agenda, which is, it's going to be, it's just going to say cleanup day. Um, any other business will take care of in the main meeting, but it, it'll just be cleanup day. Um, I'm happy to have a meeting at my house if that makes life easier. <laughs> Are you guys thinking of a quorum? Like it's still a... I, yeah, I think... <sighs> Thursday, the 18th, will be the day. And it's 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 a combination of of um the council chambers being available or an alternate alternate meeting available and the Zoom account being available because we also have to, to broadcast and record to Zoom. Um so there's a there's the town meeting Monday, there's Zoning Board Appeals Tuesday, and there's wetlands on Wednesday. So Thursday the 18th is is um is when the, the meeting could be um, just in terms of, of available space. If that, um, and again, and I can, I will send a mess, a note with the minutes tomorrow um, and just say, we're looking to schedule a special meeting for the 18th. Um, everyone let me know if, if seven o'clock works for you, if you, if earlier works better or, or I prefer not later, but you know, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, usually we it's we like to do seven just because that's the normal time to meet anyway. Um, it's a little more familiar to people, um, but that's fine. And as long as everyone's in agreement, and again, it just has to be posted um, 48 hours ahead of time. I can also have the, the agenda posted. Um, I can make the, the meeting agenda really quickly. Um, and as long as everyone's okay with that, I can just have it posted the week before, um, add a meeting for Zoom, um, and then, uh, send everything, send it out the, the, uh, the, the, a few days before, probably that Monday. Um, if that works, we can have a coordination meeting. It's already in my calendar. <laughs> Thursday, but, April 18 looks good. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Jen, do you want to tell us about all your hard work getting prizes? I'm sorry, say that again? Does Jennifer want to tell us about all the prizes she got? Oh, good. Yes. Yeah, and I, I think, like, to your point in the chat, Stacey, figuring out how we're marketing the prizes uh, is something I'm a little unclear on, so that, that'd be good to talk about. I... Uh, 
reached out to basically the folks that have donated in the past. And then Stacey Garrett and I were kind of going back and forth on just uh, since our last meeting, figuring out like, what do we have left over that wasn't claimed from last year? So um, I can screen share if it's easier, just the summary, but. Uh, hold on. I think I have to give you permission. Uh, I can voice over too. It's not a big deal, but we have eight, including the the three that Amy came up and and shared last last meeting. Um, in addition to the three that Amy mentioned, which was just as a reminder, uh, gift card from Jay Timothy, two gift cards from Walmart, and then a jewelry item from Farmington Jewelers. Um, in addition, we also have. Um, now, three Naples Pizza $50 gift cards. It, that includes one that was left over from last year. Andy was uh, a big fan of getting rid of Nips bottles uh, throughout, <laughs> throughout town. Uh, Ron's Automotive uh, offered... Uh, a $100 gift, uh, gift card. Farmington Miniature Golf and Ice Cream. I think they I think they awarded the heaviest haul last year. Is that right? Oh, you're on mute, Stacey. Apparently, I'm just learning how to use Zoom. Um, the Girl Scouts got uh, the Miniature Golf last year. Did they, were they the heaviest haul winners? Is that just like the top team award or something? Uh, like they were the top. T, like there was like there's businesses and then there's like farm like groups and then I can look at all like the different categories and then individual first and second place um yeah I, I think what would be good is to figure out like what are the prizes that we've given in the past and then we can and I mean I'm happy to take a stab at marrying up what makes sense because if we're going to do like a team prize especially if it's like Girl Scouts or something like cute like that I think the mini golf and ice cream prize like would be continued to make sense there um and then we have just you know a lot of other gift cards basically highland park market also um offered a hundred dollar gift card fork and fire we had from last year and they said just use the one that you already have that's fine if there's any issues let us know the only one i haven't heard back from is wooden tap i've reached out to them a couple of times and just have so if anyone knows anyone wouldn't have let me know but um but uh, i, I want to say that johnny bought the wooden tap ones last year oh i don't, I don't think they donated them but uh, i'm not sure but yeah um got it okay so Stacey, um, well, I'll pause there for any questions, but if it would, but I guess for next steps, I, I guess like if, if we have an idea of, of what we want to reward or what we have in the past, I can make a recommendation and, and circulate it with everybody um, to kind of lock in the, the final allocations there, if that makes the most sense. Yeah. I know Kate did it in the past and then I was in charge of it last year and it was really hard because I was like, I don't, I don't like I don't know how to pair like like for EB 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 and Peps. Yeah. Like they had like a whole bunch of people. So then like they got all the wooden taps and then like it was it's really hard because you don't know who's gonna win. And yeah, so definitely a challenge. Mm. And and if if it's easier, we could always just have a discussion at the the following meeting. Who what's what's best to to allocate to who? It's it's doesn't have to be that weekend. <laughs> yeah, I guess I was thinking also like what? Yeah, I I mean I haven't been close to this process in the past, and so other than the team award, I didn't really know like what what we marketed as being. Like prizes for X and prizes for what? Like I, I just am not familiar with that to even kind of know. Like, do we? When I was looking, I was like, oh, we have plenty of prizes. But in hearing Garrett some of your examples, like I'm like, oh, I don't know. Do I need to like broaden we my have plenty. We have plenty. Yeah, we're good. Well, we'll know what the prizes are by the 18th, the meeting on the 18th. Right. So, is it okay if we wait till then to talk about? How to split them up? Yeah. Does that make oh, sense? Yeah, I was saying you know? the, the meeting in May. So after after the, the oh. comp, after we find out who won, it, we can kind of make a determination of what might fit best or or 
Because okay. you can't just you can't just say to everyone, all right, what do you want? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so that that gets done at the May 7th meeting. We could do it then, yeah. If okay. if everyone's okay with that. Yep. So if I could I, one comment I have about the prizes. Uh, being on the uh trash collector side of things, I don't think anybody is uh incentivized by the prizes. They want to win but exactly what the prizes are. I think the prizes are more in, in terms of having the, the companies or uh, places in the community saying that they support us. And yeah. so, to, so to have uh, a Wooden Tap or, or another restaurant say they're supporting our collection efforts. I think that's what's important as opposed to uh, in, incentivizing Someone to go out and pick up trash. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense, John. I see where that would make sense. I have a business in mind. Um, I mean, again, I joined today. Uh, is it too late to approach them? Uh, can we add to this? Um, you know, a bunch of donors. Is there uh, a minimum I amount? Yeah, most of the gift for the businesses that donated gift cards, it's either fifty dollars or one hundred dollar gift cards, and they've donated between one and three of that number of gift cards. So, um, in case that helps, but yeah, I mean, we can. I think um, yeah, right. that point for the the incentive for the business is to be included on. I assume like the flyer that we'll make. We should list the businesses that have have donated. These are all local businesses for the most part, which right. I think is great. Right. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, that's a long way of saying, I don't think it's too late, uh, but if we wanted to make sure that they were included in like the poster that's going around, for example, we would want to wrap that up by Thursday, Friday of this week, at least to, to reach okay. out. To them okay. I'd try to reach out to them tonight at slash tomorrow morning. Okay. Thank you, Priya. What, um, out of curiosity, which business is it? Oh, this is a, it's a, it's a very new restaurant. I, I just happened to have um, visited it a couple of times and it was nice. So I, I figured that they may want to have their um, name out there. Um, it's a Indian restaurant that has opened after, and it's, it's got very good interiors and the ambiance is great. It's right, um, you know, the Union World Stop and Shop um, area. Bollywood. Right across. I'm sorry? Bollywood. Yes, that's the one. That's yeah. correct. And he's also kind of like trying to, I get the vibes that he's trying to promote himself because there was a recent, um, uh, some sort of a, a cricket match that he was trying to post and everything just to get folks in interested and all that stuff. Because we wound up losing that match. That was a very different thing. But um, so I, I thought he's, he's just kind of like trying to, uh, um, trying to come across as a community person. So I thought I would reach out to him. It may be a win-win for him. And he also has an all day last, last time we went as a girls for the women's day, he said he also has an all American breakfast and lunch, just that the dinner is the Indian, but lunch can be American slash Indian, whatever people picked. So I thought that would that would be a nice corner place for people to gather, and you know, I, I'll just reach out to him. I I don't know if he'll be interested, but I'll let him know. I yeah. think he will be, Priya. I think that's a great idea because I've gone down there a couple times for town council, and he's hosted us a couple times to show us his menu and things like that. And I, you, what you're saying is exactly right. I think they do want to get more infused yeah. into the community. Yeah. Right, right. Their food is great. Yeah, the food is good. Food is yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank ah, you. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Is that it for townwide cleanup, you think? Or is there anything else we, we need to talk about? I think that's good if we're going to do a special meeting at the end of the, uh, beforehand. I think that's okay. fine. All right. We should be good. Okay. Wonderful. So can uh, we can move on to presentations? It doesn't look like we have any. There are none. Okay. Um, 
We need to approve the minutes from the March 5th, 2024 meeting. Uh, does anybody have any corrections or changes or is everybody okay with it? They are. Can somebody make a motion to approve? I move. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay, so that passes. Um, the summer newsletter. Yep. So um uh Amy, I had discussed just leaving the newsletter on as a as at, under education of just to to remind uh the committee that it's available if we want to do anything um, and I obviously don't have the date for the summer newsletter yet um, but if people want to start thinking about um, an article we'd like to include um, in the summer newsletter um, I think it's usually in July it's either end of June or early July usually um, so just think about that um, can, we, can we include our cleanup day like a little summary of the day and yeah, we, yeah, we can do that. We usually, um, no, I think the, um, the, uh, newsletter kind of, kind of coincide with the, um, town manager's quarterly report, um, which, which does usually include how much was it was, uh, um, how much trash we collected that day. Um, but we can definitely do something a little blurb in, in the summer newsletter. Um, and we do usually post it. It's usually in the minutes, obviously. Um, we can also post it on the website um, if we think that'd be good. Um, so what what do you generally put in something like this? Is it kind of a newsy article about an it's, environmental issue or is it? It can be. I mean, there's nothing, it, it, there's no like guideline. I mean, it can be, it can be related to um you know a program that's offered in in town or most likely in the state um it can be about you know i think at one point we talked about uh um ever uh putting something in the that black plastics no longer being mm -hmm. for recycling um because if that's thrown into the batch it could ruin the whole batch um same thing with pizza boxes so we can do just an education on you know here's what you can recycle um okay. We can say it's better to uh, mulch your your grass clippings than than bag them and throw them in the trash, which you're not supposed to do. Um, things like things like that, um, mm -hmm. just kind do of you, just public education kind of things. Do you PSAs. have any? Do you have any events in uh, summer? Just like this trash pickup. Do you have any plans for summer, like towards the end of summer when folks come back from the vacations and stuff? Um, or something in the fall. Do you have any events like this? Not really. This is kind of the the big event. We've talked about doing things in the fall, um, but then it the concern is that you yeah, ask too much people. Um, you know, people's time is limited. So th this is kind of the the big event that we do together. Yeah, <clears throat> throughout the year, and then we'll usually focus on on a, uh, some topics here or there. Um, I know, obviously, the next one is waste reduction goal. Um, so depending on how Westwoods goes, we can always do an article about that, um, that, the, that we started the composting program at Westwoods um, or something like that. Even, um, if it, um, even if it's not an article, maybe it could we could just do bullets of the things that we're working on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so it can just be, a you know, a, a, just notifying people what, 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 what we're sorry <laughs> of what we're working on, um, or if we're looking for input on anything or things like that. Okay, I'd be uh, happy Garrett, to, write, to work on that. Uh, so, Garrett, you write it. Yes, John. So you mentioned the the issue about the uh, black black plaster, uh, pla black plastic uh, containers that people uh, give. It'd be interesting to put out an article that's really aimed at restaurants in the town of Farmington, explain to them what sort of takeout containers are recyclable and which aren't. Uh, so, 
That's so that right. wouldn't, I would say that wouldn't be good for the summer newsletters because the summer newsletter goes to uh, families or every, all the households in town. I will say that that uh, our economic development department has their own newsletter that we send to bit that they send to businesses. Um, okay. So we could we could do something for that instead, and that would be obviously more business focused um, than than residents. Um, but uh, you know, the resident side is you know. We send that to the Farmington businesses. One, there's no guarantee they're going to switch from from the black plastic to white plastic, and B, there's no guarantee that you're getting your food in Farmington either. So, um, just kind of notifying people that you know you can reuse the black plastic. Uh, you know, the 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 takeout containers can be reused. You can wash them, um, things like that for for homeowners, and then we can do a separate thing for um, for for okay. the businesses. Uh, would you like me to mention that at the EDC meeting, which I am also the liaison for? <laughs> I mean, I could bring it up at the meeting and just ask them if they would be interested in us putting something right yeah, that, up. Yeah, them. that's yeah, okay. yeah, that's what. Yeah, and Rose is the one that sends it out, so you can always just I check with her. her but if, I would definitely bring it up with the EDC because that's business owners too. Yeah. Um, and they might say, oh, well, the black plastic is a quarter of the price of the white plastic, or something like that. <laughs> that, that, you know, and I don't remember all, all, uh, all the business uh, owners that are on that. Um, well, the next, I think there's at least the one restaurant here. Well, the reason I ask is our next um, EDC meeting is the 10th of April. All right. Yeah. So I will, I will do that. I will talk to Rose. Another thing that we could do in the summer newsletter is just simply, you know, 10, 10 things you might, 10 little behaviors you might want to change. For instance, take your own Pyrex container when you're going to eat out. Instead of even needing a takeout container, you can just bring your own. So, right. So you could do, you could do that too. You can say right. that, you know, black plastic is not recyclable. Um, think about, so that could be like the article for, for, for the, the resident side. Right. Um, that doing that. That's a wonderful suggestion. I've always thought about doing that for myself, but taking my own container. But I thought, okay, I don't know how people would judge me. So, but that's oh. very nice. Really, really very nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, if you want to look at, if you want to think about that and write something up, that would be that would be Great. really good. Well, I'll just yeah. come up with a list of stuff and you can all okay. add or see. Yeah, that's that's whatever. fine. Yeah. We and we can always we can always have like a um we could come up with I I, I we can always come up with a, a list um of, right. of topics and say, all right, for summer we'll do this one, for fall we'll do this one, th things like that. Um mm -hmm. I was planning on kind of doing something like that after cleanup, you know, get through cleanup, focus on that, and then and then talk about some other stuff afterwards, some goals and stuff like that. Um, so we'll talk about that in probably May or June um, anyway. Um, but yeah, if people want to start brainstorming ideas for, for newsletter articles, and then we can get a list together and keep it um, somewhere in like a SharePoint folder or something. Um, and then we can just, I can pull it up at a meeting and we can say, hey, you know, who wants to, you know, we want to do an article on this, who wants to write the article for this, this newsletter. Um, and I, I'll let you, everyone know when I get the, the deadlines, um, it's usually about a month beforehand, we get the, the deadline. Um, and I'll just say, I, I love doing this kind of stuff. I, I am a writer, so I'm happy to do, you know, that, that. No, I'm not going to say every single time, but no. <laughs> okay. No, that's great. In fact, I have that as a note for the next meeting's agenda. Great. Newsletter article ideas. So. Okay. All right. Okay, um, let's see, where are we? I was making notes for EDC. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, where are we? Let's see. Okay, so do we want to move on to the waste reduction goals? Sure. Okay. So first up, um, 
Sam gave me an update from uh, Tara, and it, there's another link I'll send out when I send out the minutes. Um, uh, it's up on the screen. Um, what uh, students at Westwood spent the last two weeks studying trash in their science classes, and they're kicking off on Monday, which would have been yesterday. Um, they'll have two stations set up in the cafeteria, and each station will have two student sorting leaders. Um, and there's a video that they did to help kick it off. Um, it's about four and a half minutes long. Um, so I'll send that, I'll send the link out to everyone. Um, when I said, again, when I send out the minutes, um, so everyone can watch that, but it's getting started. Um, so hopefully we'll, we'll see how that goes. And I, Sam can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm fairly certain they're weighing what's going in or I don't know. I don't know all the details. I know Kate yeah, had so mentioned something. Um, yeah, the, the, I mean, the video is great. So everybody should watch the video when Garrett sends that out. Um, and I'd, I'd even hesitate to, to summarize because the kids did such a great job of it in the video. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, there, there's a lot of science and measuring going along with this and they're going to monitor how it all goes. Um, and yes, the only other thing I could add is that we did um, finalize an agreement with Blue Earth. To, to pick up the compost and I just issue, issued a PO this week. So they're uh, ready to go. I, I did not check in yesterday to, to see if they did actually get it started or not. Um, but I but I do know they're they're ready to go at this point. Everything's in place to get started. I'm sorry, I missed that. Where, what are you starting? So they're starting uh, a composting program in the Westwood School lunchroom. Oh, okay. Um, I so thought that was already going. Okay. No, it, I think there were some issues with getting the table made or delivered, um, and then they just had the town just had to finalize or board event had to finalize the contract with with Blue Earth, um, but they started it this week, as far as we're aware. Mm -hmm. Is that for the entire community? Or is it just uh, it's just it's just the Westwoods school lunchroom for now. Um it's more of a pilot program. Um okay. it's it's to 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 see if it react so the, the goals are to see if it reduces the amount of um uh trash pickups that that are needed. Um I think previous currently um the dumpsters are collected twice a week. Um at least at Westwoods, that's what we had talked about. Um, so seeing if, if it's switching to a, one regular dumpster and one compost, one food waste dumpster um, every week um, to try and try and offset some of that, the, the tonnage. Um, I know Kate had said the students had done a different video or they just kind of filmed um, like a trash can in the cafeteria for like a minute and seeing how much food is thrown out. Um, you know, to try and try and say, hey, look, you know, look, there's like a whole apple that's getting thrown out and, and there's like a bushel of apples in the trash. Um, so that's the goal um, of of the education part. Um, and then we'll see about if, if it's successful, we'll look into doing it at other other schools or town facilities. Um, but we, we just start in a program first to see how it goes. I'm looking to... Uh doing compost uh, compost myself so because i th this lot of vegetable peels that i have and <laughs> i feel terrible to put it in a plastic bag because i'm making an organic material as inorganic as it can get uh leaving it in a plastic bag so yeah are there are has anybody thought about reaching out to farmers to see if they would want that for their animals that is um, I think that there are, I don't, I don't think we've done that. I know that there's, um, a limit on how much of the feed can be, uh, food scraps. Um, I think it's like 10% of the feed can be food scraps. I don't remember, but I think, um, the, I think as I could be wrong, I thought as part of, um, Senate Bill 199, which is the the food scrap uh, bill currently with the state with the state Senate, um, there was a a push to move it from 10 to 15 or 20 percent. Um, but then that's also where you know where's the food coming from, um, and also I don't think there's any pig or cow farmers in Farmington. Um, I don't think the horses really. I know there's horses, but I don't think the horses really eat that stuff. I think it's usually the pigs and the cows um, that eat the food scraps. But I don't think there's any 
um, at least in, in town that use that. Um, it, and it's the same thing with com with the compost. I think it, it's the 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 benefit of not doing it at your house and having it commercially compost is that you can compost much more. You can compost meat. You can compost dairy products. Um, and and I think I think eggshells you can compost at home, but I don't I'm not sure about the egg the actual egg. I don't remember um, yeah. if that's something you can compost at home. Oh, Brisa, yeah. yeah. Um, so when you commercially compost, all that can be composted uh, because it gets hot enough to kill off any bacteria. Whereas you're composting your backyard, it doesn't get hot enough to kill the bacteria um, that are found in, in like in meats and, and stuff like that. Um, I've been doing some courses the cost of Netflix. So is, are there any community compost? Um, Blue Earth, you can pay. You have to pay the, for that service. Yeah, Blue like Earth. We, we oh. do have. Yeah, it's it's a oh. currently it's com it's a completely on your own. Um, it's a company that that operates at their offices in West Hartford or Hartford. I don't remember. That's Hartford, thank you. That's um, good. And if you you'll see, um, there's like people will have like a, a small three to six, three to five gallon green bin out by the road, um, and that it's great. So you put all your food scraps in there. They come, I think you can pay once a week or or once every other week, um, and they'll come pick it up. And that that goes to a commercial compost facility, and that's where you can throw in meat and, nice. and dairy and stuff like that. What's the oh. name of that place called? Uh, Bluer. I can. I'll send it to you. I'm so, I put it in the chat. Oh, yeah, Stacey. Oh, okay. okay. I did some research on this because I said I would start looking into the program that West Hartford is currently running a pilot program on this. Um, and they've been collecting. I just read on the town website that the town council is going to consider in June making the whole program go townwide in the fall. Nice. Nice. So, um, and Blue Earth is the company that they've partnered with to do that. And Blue Earth, um, well, starting from May 2023, the West Hartford program has collected over 115,000 pounds of food scraps from 300 participating um, households. Um, I have not been able to con or the Kate Catherine Bruns is the name of the town coordinator for this program, and she and I have been playing telephone tag. So, <clears throat> um, but Blue Earth, I was asked last time to find out how much it costs for Blue Earth to collect our ways. Um, currently has about 80 residential contracts in this town of Farmington and a number of business accounts, such as restaurants and Westwoods. Um, current residential pricing for a weekly pickup in Farmington is $153 for six months. For bi-weekly service, $105 for six months. Um, so it's not nothing, but it's not you know, people, they just come by and pick it up right at your house. So, um, so I, I've never had a smell problem with mine. I've never, um, plus you get three pounds of great compost <laughs> per, you know, your subscription year. So considering what I've been turning out in my backyard, this is a real boon. This uh, this so I, I, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Priya. Okay. This yeah. information about Blue Earth, for instance, would be a nice resource or a link that you can give in your summer newsletter because it's like a community resource, something that even I didn't know till now. Um, well, I yeah. hope the town will establish a composting program. So, so I did speak with Blue Earth recently um, just to get an idea about the municipal programs that they offer. Um, it, it, my discussion with them was that if Obviously, a certain amount of homes have to participate in the program, um, but the more homes that are in like a more formal program, the cost goes down um, mm -hmm. right. marginally. Um, and it, it depends on the percentage as well. So if it's, I can tell you uh, there's 7,200 homes or, or uh, places that the town collects trash from. Um, so that 80 is, is obviously a very small percentage, but it's also, unless you know about it, you're not, you're not going to pay for it. Um, so I have to work out 
with um, the public works director about how we want to proceed. Um, I did talk, when I talked to Blue Earth, they do have, um, I'll call it press packages. Um, so information that we can include in the newsletter or something like that. Um, so we, I, I haven't talked through how we want to approach this yet, um, but it might be uh, we can start with doing something in the newsletter um, and then obviously Blue Earth will be able to tell us, oh, you know, we had this many more people sign up um, sure. in the summer, in the fall, or something like that, depending on when we do it. Um, sure. but, so I'm just curious, you wouldn't consider that a giant ad for Blue Earth? I would, technically it would be. However, there's a limited number of companies that advertise the service. Um, at least that I can find through the DEP website. And Blue Earth's the only one that covers our area. Um, there's another one, I think Quantum Biopower might cover, um, but they don't do a um, the same service that Blue Earth does. And Quantum Biopower just go, goes into an aerobic digester digester, and makes uh, um, methane that, that's used to generate electricity in Southington. Um, right. <clears throat> They, that's who takes all of Blue Earth's compost is um, quantum biopower. All right. So, yeah. So, <laughs> so um, yeah. It, it, yeah. it would, yeah, it would technically see, look like an ad for Blue Earth. Um, obviously, it would be with, it'd be through the Green Efforts Committee advertising that. But there's only, like I said, there's only a couple. Um, I think there's only two other companies that do curbside collection um, and they're, both, I think, by the shore, so they don't even come up here. I think Blue Earth is the only one that covers farm the Farmington Valley area. Um, I'd love to spread the word about composting, but I, I was just thinking if we just did an article about Blue Earth. No, I, understood. We can we can think about this about. Yeah, un understood, and it's it, it's like um, I'm it's, I'm trying to think of a, a good example, but the, I know that there's been towns that have gone out to bid for things and one person's bid on it. Right. Because that's right. the only one that was in the area. Um, Garrett and Amy, do you think the town would uh, ever consider providing um, tax rebates to people paying instead of the tax, instead of the taxpayers like paying for composting, would they give rebates to people who paid for um, I Four I, years on their own, it's not the not the two hundred dollars a year because that's no, a really I, trash bill. Yeah, but I like maybe a little as incentive. I it don't. Would save that's that's money. Right. That's that's right? part of it. Is is uh, finding out how we want to approach, um, you know, whether it's how we want to get people involved. Um, they, I've I know. Um, I'm trying to, I don't have my notes in front of me. Uh, Mansfield is looking to start that program for themselves um, with Blue Earth, um, but they're having trouble getting uh, interest um, from, from and granted, it's a much less dense community than Farmington is. Um, not to say that Farmington's dense in any way, um, but that is obviously, you know, it's a different type of community. Um, so there's that. So it's just, we'd have to, f it depends on how many people participate and how we want to proceed. We can either do it as just notifying people of it, which would probably be the, be the best way to start, um, just to, to let people, no, just to let people know um, yeah, before we, because technically it would, it would be a, an unknown cost. Um, we, you know, we can't say, Oh, you know, do you want to sign up for composting? And depending on how many people sign up, we'll let you know in six months how much it costs you. Um, that's kind of the thing. So, so another option is saying, hey, you can sign up. Um, it'll cost you this much um, biweekly, this much weekly. Um, would you be in? And then doing like a like a survey or something through the again through the newsletter, just because it goes to all the households um, that says, you know. Would you be interested in in the town offering curbside compost collection? Um, the only hitch would be that it does that um, you need a good number of households in town to participate in order for their for green effort green efforts Blue Earths 
um, collection schedule to align up with trash day. Um, so I think right now it, Blue Earth just collects on one day in Farmington because as Bree said, there's only 80 households that participate. Um, it's kind of preliminary at this point. Yeah, it's it's still early and it's not, and it's going to take a while before we make any progress on anything because um, it takes a, a while. That's why we started with, as a committee with the schools. Like that's why, that's why we're right. And, that, where we're and that's a good place to start because that's where you start with recycling. Um, you talk about recycling at school and the kids came home and say, got to wrap the paper, you know, newspapers and twine and put them in a separate bin and, and everything like that. So it's good to start um, at the schools. Um, and then that way it gets kids in, in the habit um, of separating food waste from the regular trash, you know, and scraping their plate clean as opposed to just dump everything in the trash. And um, if that's successful, they'll want to do it at home too. Right, exactly. So started at the, so that's another part is starting at the schools and then moving to to something through through the town. Well, what about having the cost folded into the trash pickup cost? Well, that that would be it. So okay, so yeah. that's that's when I talk to Blue Earth. That's a one of so you can either have you let people do it on their own. You can have people opt in to the special services bill, or we or you have to opt out. But again, that's you know it, it's obviously that would. Put the cost up higher um for for the special services if it, it was an opt-out um so that would have to go th you know we'd have to talk about that with town council and everything but i right. think it's gonna it's gonna it's not gonna be a a one and done it's gonna be a phased in approach um mm -hmm. for how we want to proceed um uh, right. that kind this of brings us into the next item which is senate bill 191 uh, which did make it out of uh the uh environment committee I forget what committee. Yeah, the, the Environment Committee um, with an approval. And I think the only thing they changed was um, there has to be a facility available to collect uh, food scraps. Um, so it, previously it was every town has to have, collect food scraps by 2028. Um, now it says any town with a, an available facility has to collect food scraps by 2028. Um, yeah, it, farm term will fall into that because we've got a you know, there's quantum biopower and blue earth both both take scraps. They have got they both have municipal programs. Um so it's more I think it's more for like the rural commute rural communities um that might be more difficult, but most of the rural communities don't have curbside trash collection, they'll have transfer station, which Primington unfortunately doesn't have. Um so, so I know that, for Farmington, who's who's actually keeping track of all this to see if this is a viable option for Farmington. Is it just green efforts or is it town it, somebody in town? It, it's me. Uh, it's you? <laughs> yeah, it's me. It's your as, guy. As the, yeah, <laughs> as, as the staff liaison, it's me. Okay. So it's, it's like I said, it, it takes some time. Um, got to work. It, 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 it yeah. takes some time. It's got to be a phase approach. I still have to talk with our public works director. I only spoke with, I was able to get a call with Blue Earth uh, last week, I think it was. Um, so it's just working. It's working through it. Uh, it. It will take some time. It's not going to be, you know, a couple of meetings and we're, and we're done. It's going to take a while. Um, right. But starting with the schools is definitely a good start. Garrett, yeah, I would be happy to help. Staff liaison. What was that, Stacey? I'm sorry. You're the best staff liaison. I'm the only <laughs> staff liaison. <laughs> no, that I, I, but I've been on this committee for a long time, and you're the third or fourth, so. But he's the best. The best, right. And he's ours. <laughs> <laughs> okay so all right so that was the update for 191 yeah that that okay. was it i think i had sent it to everyone at the last meeting um yep and i had gotten a notice i think they voted on it uh with an amendment so now it's with the it was two to four days ago they filed it um i think it uh went to the fiscal office for review um that's usually the next step before it goes to the general committee but at the uh, uh general committee general assembly um uh, but the general assembly goes until early may um so i'll keep every, if it's if i hear anything for the our may meeting i'll let you know if not um i'll tell you in june depends on okay. when, the, when the final general assembly meetings are um it's a sort it's a unfortunately a sort session this year so a lot doesn't make it through um but making it out of committee early on is usually a good sign i've seen a lot of stuff 
you know, get it out of committee at the end of the year, at the end of the session, and then it goes to the floor and doesn't get a vote. Um, so I have a question. Yep. How, how much does the town spend to ship our trash wherever it goes? I got no clue. <laughs> um, I think there was a line item in our budget that, that said how much it was. Right. Yeah, and I it's not find it. I looked, but I couldn't find it. So I'm just wondering if anybody else knows that. Because here, here I'm just my mind is just ticking away. And I'm thinking, well, if we save a certain percentage, that money could be applied to a compost pickup program. Um, you know, right. But that all that heavy stuff out of state to go to some someplace wherever. Right. Um, so again, that falls under how many people are want to participate in it. Some people don't, you know. Some people just don't want to think about it at all. That's, you know, um, but then it's an unknown number as well of how much, how much um, food scraps actually makes it into the compost bin. Um, you know, people, people that are on uh, sewer generally have garbage disposal. So most of it, you know, most of their stuff, they just throw in the garbage disposal, grind it up and it gets shipped to the wastewater treatment plant. Um, so it depends on the household as well. But our town is very interested in look, you know, looking into this and stuff. I know that's, a, I know that that's something that we've talked about at town council too. So, uh -huh. right. right. So good, yeah. good news. So, okay. Um, can we move on to letters and signs and adopt a road? It's getting a little late. So I, yeah, I think I had sent it to everyone. Um, at the last meeting, I'll send it out again. Just start looking at that. Um, I know we've been focusing on cleanup the last few few months, so I think it, we just kind of left it on. So we'll we'll uh, I'll put it near the top of the agenda for uh, for for May or for June. Um, if people want to start taking a look at that um, and getting some ideas together about what they would like a program to look like and what they like from other towns, so that way I can start um, putting some of the information together so we can get started on drafting. Okay. An ordinance if we decide to move forward. Okay, good. Yeah, so that's another thing we could think about for our next meeting. If you yeah. have some ideas for that. Okay. Okay. Um, so for H, I don't think there's anything. Um, I would like to see the next meeting dates there on the agenda. agenda yep, that's fine. Forward. So, um, so the, we'll, next our... eight, the next meeting is May 7th. Uh, our next regular meeting will be May 7th, and special meeting will plan for April 18th. Right. Um, yeah, that's a Thursday, April 18th. I'll, like I said, I'll send that out. Um, if everyone's good with that, I'll put it in the calendar. Um, and then the 18th will plan on being hybrid. Um, if you want to come to town hall, that's great. If not, that's fine. Um, and then the March the uh, May 7th meeting, um, I, I can just send out a poll to just make sure everyone's good with going back in person. Um, or we can just say we'll be in high, we'll be in person. Again, hybrid, but I, it's easier to say in person. <laughs> and you're going to check to make sure Town Council Chambers is available? Yeah, it, yeah it, looked, it looked open based on the, the schedule on the town website, um, but I can double check the, uh, yeah. the actual the calendar. Um, that we have in town hall um, okay. to make sure it's available. But I'll okay. let, like I said, I'll send that out with the minutes tomorrow. Okay. Um, does somebody want to make a motion to adjourn? Okay. All right. well, I think, um, motion to adjourn. Second. Second. That. Okay, John, thank you. Um, any Anybody opposed? All in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. <laughs> Okay, thank you, everybody. 